what is up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about a gnome extension that overhauls the way tiling works on gnome so it lets you use keybinds or other things and it also lets you have a a little windows 11 interface if you must and we're going to start off with showing you how to customize it now there is an indicator for it i have it disabled it does look pretty cool but again i have it disabled so enable snap assistant enable tiling system so hold the activation key while moving a window to tile it span multiple tiles and there's just a lot of stuff now you can edit layouts so this is my layout mine and mine have customized a whole bunch of it I find this one to be a bit silly, so I replaced it with this one. Honestly, I'm going to get rid of these, but these are the defaults and you can add whatever you want. So if you want to, you can left click to split a tile. You can left click plus control to split a tile vertically. You can right click to delete a tile and you could use the indicator up there to save. So uh, let's say I wanted to do this right here like that. And then after I was done, actually one second there, after I was done, I would just go up here and hit save. And then when we dragged up here, you can see we have what we made and it just works. Now, another thing we can do is hold down control. And as you see, it allows us to just choose where we want to place the tile. Look how smushed that is. That is illegal. It's that smushed. Like. It's crazy. So it allows you, again, to do whatever you want, where you want, when you want, what you need to do. It's basically a way to overall how you use the Winders tiling. I like saying that, Winders, by the way. Uh, it feels funny to say, but it is what it is. Put you there. Can we fit one more down here? We cannot because... The dock is in the way so yeah not all windows will fit to what you need there to be but in a nutshell hopefully it just works the way you need it to i mean that that looks fine right uh but say if you're opening a terminal and you have music you want to listen to uh in immersive mode by the way so i'm going to turn that on and you're also watching a video or doing something some sort of research and you just want things to work right i'm definitely not going to be using that for this but uh i would probably go with this if i was going to at least a little bit like that's going to have the big corner and this is going to have a big corner so i'm going to mute my audio on the desktop and i'm basically going to hit play it should just randomly play some songs Oh, I almost jammed to that. And then we have this. And then we're searching the yay for Discord. Right? And we're also wanting to watch our temperatures. Put that up there. Like, it just, it works, right? And you can change whatever you want to be first or second or third. Uh, so, I wonder if we hit control. Can we scroll? No, we can't. What do we hold alt? What does alt do? Alt control? No. I want to know what oh, we just did something. Oh, look at that. So alt control shift alt allows you for even more snapping control. How cool is that? Look at that. That's pretty crazy. But again, if you just need to have it down here, you can't really do that. So I have a secondary one that allows me for even finer control. So again, if I wanted to just do this. I could, I wanted to do just God darn it, it's not registering. Oh, it's so picky. There we go. I almost had it. Nailed it. Nope, come on. There we go. Let's just put that right there. So, yes, you have complete control over the way you want to tile things, and I'm sure uh, you'll find more ways to customize this to work for you. But, yeah, span multiple tiles, enable the tiling system. So there it is. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, if this changes something of the way you run GNOME, let me know. I am working on another video about my first 30 days on Linux. I'm trying to anyway. So don't forget to subscribe for that and further videos about 
gnome linux and everything as a whole and i'll see you guys next time